Today, it's so common to hear women say that in order to succeed in business and in the workplace, we need to be aggressive. And for as long as we've been saying this, men have been correcting us and telling us we don't need to be aggressive, we need to be assertive. But we dismiss their advice and think of it as a male ploy to hold us back. So let's understand the difference between being aggressive and being assertive and how each of them impacts our success and that of our workplace. Being aggressive is defined as being the first to attack or to be hostile. It tells us that other people are competition and our success depends on defeating them so we have power and control over them. And when men naturally fight back against our aggression, we interpret it as confirmation that the workplace thrives on competition and that women need to be more aggressive than men. Aggressive behavior is the opposite of teamwork. So if our workplace is full of aggressive people, there's a lot of fighting and people trying to impose their will on others. As a result, we can't produce the best product or service. And this opens the door for our competitors who use teamwork to produce a better product and take our customers. Hopefully, we eventually realize that our competition didn't need to be aggressive to defeat us. On the other hand, being assertive is defined as being confident and insisting on your right to be recognized. Men like assertiveness because it recognizes each man's right to his own space, where he's free to express his ideas and stand up for himself. So when men tell women to be assertive, they're simply telling us to get our own space and be confident in expressing ourselves. But as women, we know that being assertive doesn't guarantee we'll be recognized. But just because we're ignored or dismissed, it doesn't mean we have to become aggressive. It just means we have to continue to assert ourselves and not be shy about it. Good teamwork requires every team member to be assertive, and that means everyone expresses their ideas and everyone is recognized, no matter their credentials, because you never know who has the idea that makes all the difference between success and failure. This is Dot Callahan asking you to help me turn the woman in the room into the women in the room. Sign up for my newsletter, subscribe to my YouTube channel, or find the woman in the room on Facebook. It's up to you. Just keep watching and sharing my videos to get advice from a woman who's been there, dealt with that, and knows what works.